I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey guys, Paul Shirey, JoeBlow.com. I am here at CinemaCon in Las Vegas. Just got a Disney presentation, and this time we're gonna be talking about the Toy Story 4 footage that they showed us. They showed 17 minutes of the film, the first 17 minutes, so we got an early peek at uh, basically what Toy Story 4 has to offer, some setup points, and a bunch of other stuff. So, let's get into it. So, uh, as you know, the last Toy Story ended with all the toys, or the key toys, if you will, surviving toys, uh, getting handed over to Bonnie, the young girl that Andy takes over and drops the whole box of toys with Woody and, uh, and Buzz and everybody in there. Um, and so the opening of the film actually does a nine years prior flashback. So nine years ago, we see it's raining, it's a stormy night, and we see that Buzz, uh, Andy comes running into the, his room and he dumps all the toys on his bed and they're missing a toy, they're missing the race car. I don't know his name. Whatever the race car, the little RC car. RC, I think that's his name. Uh, so he's left outside, so they're like, oh, we gotta go rescue him. I like they could wait till the next morning to bring him in. I can't do that. It's inhumane to toys. <laughs> so anyways, um, they're kind of doing their little, you know, hijinks, running around, jumping, flipping, all the stuff they have to do because they're toys and they can't just walk out the front door and pick it up. Uh, and they go to sneak out of Andy's sister's window who has Bo Peep, the Bo Peep lamp, if you'll recall. Uh, and they basically climb out the window to go, to go save RC. But as they're doing that, a visitor shows up and comes into the house and it turns out he was there to pick up some stuff that I guess the mom was giving away and they're giving away uh, Andy's sister's Bo Peep lamp. So she gets put into a box and they take it outside and they set it down. So in the midst of Woody rescuing RC, he sees that the box is set down under by the car. The guy forgets his keys and has to walk back in. So that affords Woody a moment with Bo Peep prior to her being taken away. She opens up the car, he opens up the cardboard box and they have like a little back and forth. And he's like, you know, come on, you know, we'll, we'll get you out of here. She's like, no, it's okay. I have to go. I'm going on to my next kid. Um, so Woody is, you know, they got a thing, they got a connection. So Woody's like, you know, I want her to go. Uh, and then Bo Peep offers him the chance. She says, hey, you know, a lot of kid, a lot of toys get lost. You could just jump in here in this cardboard box. And he's about to jump in. And just before he does, he hears Andy running outside, crying like, where's Woody? I can't find Woody. So obviously Woody, ever the dedicated toy, releases his grip on the cardboard box, says goodbye to Bo Peep, and goes back with Andy as Andy grabs him. Uh, and takes him back. So that was the end of that scene. Then they could flash forward to uh, the current time. They do kind of like a little time lapse thing playing You Got a Friend and Me, kind of the expected stuff. So kind of catch you up if you happen to not see Toy Story 1 through 3. I'm sure that you have. Uh, so they show um, basically catch you up, up to Andy handing off uh, his toys to Bonnie. Then we cut to Bonnie and the toys in her room, kind of in the current state, maybe a couple weeks after Andy dropped her off. And Basically, they're waiting in the closet while Bonnie's mom cleans. She shoves all the toys in the closet. Probably happened to a lot of us growing up. Probably a lot of toys get lost, if we're being honest, or forgotten about, which can sometimes be the same thing. Um, so they're all in the closet. Then they're waiting for the signal to come out uh, and waiting for Bonnie to run in and play with them because that's like how they plan their day is like the kid's gonna play with them. So anyways, Bonnie comes in, she opens it, she's like grabs a bunch of toys, but she takes the badge off of Woody and puts it on, fuck, what's the chick's name? Jesse. Jesse, our expert in the field. Uh, so uh, she comes in, she grabs all the toys and she picks up Woody and you think Woody's gonna go and be played with, but no, she just takes his badge and she puts it on Jesse. Well, if she's a girl, she probably wants to play with the girl cowboy, makes sense. Girl, cowgirl, oh my God. I'm so sorry if I offended everybody. Deeply apologize for my remarks. So anyways, uh, she's playing with Jesse. Jesse's the new sheriff, cool. Um, but that, you know, it does hurt Woody's feelings. But again, Woody has always been that determined and dedicated toy. So while it hurts his feelings, he's still thinking about Bonnie and you know her well-being. So that's really always his main focus. Anyways, Bonnie gets done playing with him. She runs off and the toys are kind of like, hey, you know, are you okay? You all right, buddy? He's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then uh, one of the other toys is kind of, that's one of Bonnie's original toys is saying, hey, you know, everybody get back in your spots. Bonnie always forgets something. So sure enough, Bonnie comes running back in, but she comes in crying. And 
turns out Bonnie is going to kindergarten. She's going to her orientation day to start school. Uh, so this has her upset, like many kids, going to school for the first time. It's a big deal. Uh, and Woody's like, hey, you know, uh, or, or she originally she asked her parents if she could bring a toy with her. They say no. But Woody kind of protests to the other toys, and he's like, hey, you know, we got to help her out. She's going to kindergarten. She'd be better for her to have a toy with her. They're like, no, 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 no. We're not doing that. What if, like, all these horrible scenarios happen, which, let's be honest, could probably happen if you've seen the other movies. Uh, but anyways, she has forgotten her backpack. She comes back to get it. Um, and, of course, Woody has snuck into the backpack. So now Woody is going to orientation with Bonnie. So we see the drive there. Bonnie's very sad. Uh, but she's got her parents with her, which you know, obviously can help a little bit. They go into the classroom, she meets her teacher, and, you know, Bonnie's sitting at a table by herself. I don't know why she's sitting at a table by herself, but she is. Kind of doesn't make sense, but whatever. So Bonnie is sitting there by herself, and a boy walks by, and she kind of awkwardly says hi, and he takes all of her materials, her coloring materials, without saying anything, uh, which Woody is witnessing, because he's got his, the backpack zipper open, he's peeking through, watching his Bonnie, uh, and he jumps out and does his little you know, toy antics to basically help her to have a better day. He steals her some crowns, he steals her a bunch of materials, and he throws them up on the table and then retreats back into the back, uh, backpack. Now, this is where things get a little crazy because now Bonnie takes some glue, she's got all these materials, she's got some little googly eyes, she's got some uh, pipe cleaners and all this other stuff, and, she, and a, she has a spork, which she puts together and makes Forky. So she makes this little forky guy, puts him in the backpack, nothing, just an inanimate, you know, crazy bullshit kid toy thrown into the backpack. Usually something that just gets thrown in the trash later, right? I mean, if you have kids, you know, they bring home a lot of stuff that just kind of needs to be praised and then forgotten. Uh, but on the drive home, Woody looks over and forky begins to talk and comes alive. So basically Bonnie created a toy that has come to life, which is an interesting angle to take for these movies. We've never seen that happen before where or shown how a toy is created in that sense. Uh, so anyways, they come back to the house. Uh, Woody, you know, again, always the, the dedicated, you know, good guy introduces Forky to everybody else. But Forky, it seems like he's brand new, doesn't really talk, doesn't know how to talk well, doesn't know how to form his sentences or his words and all that other stuff so it's a little comedic and he's uh, I guess because his parts come from the trash he's obsessed with going back to the trash so I'm sure that will resolve quickly um, and anyway so now that is the introduction of Forky uh, and that was it that's when they closed out the footage um, my takeaway from all of that was obviously this is going to be something uh, with Woody finding a new purpose uh, in his post handoff life um, as a toy that old, there's only so much that you can do. And that's always been the question. It's always felt like, well, Toy Story 3 felt like the perfect wrap up. What more can you tell with these, these characters, these toys? Like what's the next evolution for them if you're gonna make another film? I know a lot of people argued like, hey, do we really need this? Well, probably not, but it is well in line with what we've seen before. Uh, it's got all the familiar beats, all the characters, all the voices. So it really just feels like a natural continuation of these characters and this story. Um, and from 17 minutes of footage, I certainly would have sat and watched the rest of it. Uh, I'm sure many of you are going to go anyways. I mean, this is a beloved property. This is something that people really like, they really enjoy. Um, and it seems like they have a good grip on where they're going. And the focus seems to be uh, going heavy on Woody. So we'll see where that goes. We'll see if Forky is just there for comedic effect or if he has some grander purpose. Uh, and it does seem like Bo Peep is gonna be playing a bigger role too, which we already know she's coming back for this one. So that's it for Toy Story 4. Uh, that's coming into theaters uh, in June, I believe. So you can look forward to that coming up pretty soon. But that's a nice little tease in case you were curious of what they were doing, what what the film is. Uh, it's very much in line with everything you've seen before. So in a sense, it's kind of like, it's like a, another episode of Toy Story. Uh, so that's it for Toy Story 4. Uh, make sure to check out our other videos from CinemaCon. Uh, we got more stuff from Disney, we got stuff from Warner Brothers, and we got a whole bunch more coming, including a whole slew of interviews from the red carpet. So keep your eyes here. Uh, lots more to come. I'm Paul Shire, JoeBlue.com. Thanks for joining us. You got a friend in me. <laughs>